Hello everyone. Good evening guys. So please tell me whether my audio and video is clear or not. From my side it's clear. From my side it's clear. I hope uh, it's clear from your side also. Okay, so today's session is again very important and uh, in this session, uh, I told you in the previous class, if you have attended the previous class, yesterday's class, that uh, we are going to start uh, some sessions on tricks. Okay, so in this session, we will discuss about some uh, tricks about uh, tricks on state space. Okay, so I have taken some previous year questions, selected some previous year questions, try to solve these questions without knowing the concept. You will see that I will apply a little bit of concept, very little. If you know a very small thing about the concept, then also you can solve the questions. So ultimately, you know the answer, but you don't know the concept. Okay, that thing is important for us and we will try to solve the questions like that. I hope you will enjoy this series and I hope uh, you will love these methods, which I'm going to tell you. Believe me, it's my experience, my last, I mean, 10, 12 year experience that I'm putting uh, in this series. So I hope it will it will enhance your understanding, it will enhance your trick part and it will also increase your speed. So let's start the session. Let's first cover the introduction part and then uh, we will uh, start uh, the session. Okay. So this is my introduction. My name is Asu Jangda and I teach almost every subject in electrical engineering. You can start your preparation with me on Baizu's exam pre uh, prep platform. Uh, there is a free workshop on 6th June. So you can register for this workshop. This will be at 7.30 p.m. and it will be taken by Dheeraj Sardana sir, so you can register it, link is given in the description below and the title of this uh, workshop is how to secure top 10 rank, top 100 rank in gate 2024, okay. There is one uh, scholarship test which is uh, just held on 4th of June but now again um, the, these scholarship tests are uh, happening on every weekend you can say on every Sunday so you can register for the next uh, scholarship test and uh, you can get scholarship up to 90%, okay. Uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and uh, Guru Dakshinais like this session. Press the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever my session is live. Okay. So let's uh, start the session guys. Uh, let's start. So the first question on your screen is, let me tell you, these are previous year questions. Okay. These are PYQs. But my approach is very different. You will not find these approach in, in, in some standard solution or, okay. So my approach will be very different. Let's look at the first question. In this question, if you if you see carefully, state equation is given to you, x dot equal to ax. It means you know the a matrix, you know the a matrix, and initial state variable are provided to us. Okay, what I need to find is I need to find I need to find. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I think the statement is uh, not given. The state equation is. Let me check the complete statement because there is a typing error. But uh, excuse me for that because uh, it's the error uh, from the typing part. Okay, just give me one minute. Yes. So I found the question. Uh, we need to find x1t and x2t. x1t, x2t. We need to find this. At some time t, the value of the state variable we need to find. What will be the value of the state variable at some time t? Now, what is the correct method? The correct method is you generally apply this. If you if you solve this equation, you know that x t is equal to e to the power a t into x of 0. Now, it will take very large time. Why? Because first you need to calculate e to the power a t and then you multiply them and you will get the answer. Okay. So, it is a very lengthy process. Now, the correct answer is now how to how to do it fast. What you can do is you know that these are the four options for x t. In each option, if I put t equal to 0, we should get this 1, 0. It means in each option, if I put t equal to 0, then I should get, then I should get 1, 0. Now, let's see in which option this condition is satisfied. In first option, if you put t equal to 0, you will get 0, 0. This is wrong. In second option, if you put if you put t equal to 0 on both sides, if you put t equal to 0, you will get 1, 0. It means this might be correct. This might be correct. Look at this option. If you put t equal to 0, you will get 1, 0. This might be correct. And look at this option. This is uh, wrong. Why? Because if you put t equal to 0, you will get 0, 0. I hope this is correct. Up to this point, it is clear. So, we have eliminated two answers. We have eliminated two options. Now, we have two more options. Now, what, what, can, what can I do? Look, if I open this equation, 
if I open this equation, it will be x1. It will be x1t. It means x1 dot, if I take the derivative of x1, it must be equal to x1 only. It must be equal to x1t only. So look, in B option, if you take derivative of this quantity, this first term, you will get the same term. This is x1t. And if you take the derivative of this term, you will also get the same, I mean, x1 dot is equal to x1. So this is satisfying this relation. Now, what about this? This is also satisfying this relation. You can see that. If you put, if you take the derivative of this term, you will get the same term. Okay. So it means, let's come to the next equation. The next equation is x2 dot is equal to x1 plus x2. x1 plus x2. Now, in this option, if I take x2 dot, this is x2t, if I take the dot, dot means derivative. If I take the derivative of this quantity, you will get 1 here is equal to x1 plus x2. x2 is e to the power t and x2 is t. Is it like this? Is it? No, it's not equal. That's why this is wrong. And the answer is Calcutta. Okay. So the answer is Calcutta. It's very simple. This way you can solve the problem. No need to calculate e to the power at. Okay. So I hope you got the idea. I hope you got the idea wherever wherever i mean this type of problem is there you can easily solve using this situation okay i hope it's clear tell me guys have you understood it say yes or no everyone tell me kon kon se subject lenge abhi to control system chal raha hai abhi to control system lenge uske baad aage ke subjects bhi lenge dekhte hai pehle but right now it's control system so tell me guys is it clear have you understood this question let's come to the next question guys in the next question a is given to us and we need to find e to the power 80. Now, we know that e to the power 80 is Laplace inverse of si minus a and inverse of that, okay? This is e to the power 80. So, it's a lengthy process again. And we are provided with four options. Which option is correct? How to check? You can check the properties. The first property is we know that in e to the power 80, if I put t equal to 0 here, it will become e to the power 0. It means it has to be identity matrix. Now you can see that which option are satisfying this condition. If you look at this option, in this option, if, if you put t equal to 0, it is not identity. So this is wrong. Now look at this. This is wrong. So now you have two options, b and c. Okay. The next thing is, if you look at this, the eigenvalue is 1. Eigenvalue is 1. And I told you, in e to the power 80, the exponential term has to be like this. Exponential term has to be like this. It means I have to put lambda equal to 1. So e to the power 1t should be there. It should not be minus 1t. Okay, it should not be like this. It means this answer is correct. Bombay, tell me guys. I hope it is clear. I hope it is clear. Okay, so this way you can directly solve the answer. You don't need to apply this. You don't need to apply this. Okay, let me give you one more idea. If you take the derivative of this term and if you put t equal to 0 in that, you'll get the A matrix again. So if you take the derivative of this term, you'll get e to the power t itself. The derivative of this term is this. Derivative of this term is 0. And derivative of this term is 0. Uh, derivative of this term is e to the power t. So the derivative of this matrix is this. In this matrix, if you put t equal to 0, you'll get the A itself. And you are getting the same answer. Okay. So this way also, you can check that Bombay is the correct answer. Easy peasy. Okay. Let's come to the next question. Look at the next question. A linear system is equivalently represented by two set of state equations. So there is one system which is represented by two state equations. State equation can be infinite. Okay. State equations are not unique in any system. So this is the first state equation and this is the second state equation for the same system. Now if you compare these two things, you can see that here the state variable is x, here the state variable is w. The matrix here is A and the matrix here is C. Okay. So, and this matrix is B, here it is D. It means what, what is changing? The state variable has changed. So, it's kind of similarity transformation. So, you have applied some similarity transformation on this to get this matrix, uh, to get this equation. Okay. Now, we know that if we apply the similarity transformation, if the matrix, uh, if the system is remains same, for a same system, you can change the state equation, you can change the state variable, but some quantities will remain same. What are those quantities? First one is eigenvalue. So the eigenvalue of this system, this equation and this equation remains same. 
eigen value lambda and mu lambda and mu are known as the eigen value so they will remain same okay they will remain same eigen values and eigen so eigen values will remain same so a option may be correct b option may be correct for the time being but c is not correct and d is not correct because eigen value has to be same now what about the state variable state variable has to be different okay state variable has to be different it means x is not equal to w okay similarity transformation it's just a similarity transformation you know that in similarity transformation eigen values remain same transfer uh, transfer function remains same characteristic equation remains same eigen vector changes okay eigen vector will change and eigen uh, the state variable will also change okay here the state variables are x here the state variable is w so they might be different okay let's come to the next thing again you can see that we have a matrix and we need to find e to the power 80 state transition matrix so i told you how to calculate e to the power 80 the first property is if you put t equal to 0 it has to be identity first you have to check this okay because if you put t equal to 0 then e to the power 0 is 1 1 means in matrix it will it must be identity so you have to check which option is satisfying this condition now in this option you can see that if you put t equal to 0 it will become identity so this may be correct now look at this it is not becoming identity because there is minus sign okay that's why it's wrong here also it, it's minus 1 here it should be 1 okay that's why this is wrong now look at this if you put t equal to 0 this might be correct it means two options you have eliminated but still we have two two options now how to solve this further how to check in out of these two options which one is correct and which one is not correct how to do that you can apply differentiation property again i told you that in, in e to the power 80 if you take the differentiation okay and if you put t equal to 0 you must get a okay you must get a now look at this matrix let's first take the differentiation if i take the differentiation of each quantity you know that the differentiation of course is minus sin t okay minus sin t sin t differentiation is cos t okay and uh, minus sin t uh, differentiation is minus cos t and cos t differentiation is minus sin t fine now if you put t equal to 0 you will see that this is 0 this is 0 this is 1 this is minus 1 you are getting the same a matrix it means agra is correct answer okay simple okay so you have to apply i mean these two basic rule we know that e to the power 80 if you put t equal to 0 it has to be 1 1 means identity if you take the differentiation of this quantity it will become a e to the power 80 i mean you know the differentiation now how to take differentiation of exponential term a e to the power 80 and if you put t equal to 0 it must be equal to a only okay you can remember it like this so that's that's the same rule i'm applying and you can easily solve the question within one minute not one minute 30 seconds okay within 30 seconds you get the correct answer let's come to the next question in the next question look at the statement so question number five and six it has the common statement okay so we have solved four questions now question number five and six now for question number five and six the statement is common okay and what is the statement the statement on your screen is consider the linear system whose state space representation is this so state space representation is provided to us if the initial state vector for the system okay the initial state variable is given this he is saying that if, if it is the if this is the initial state variable then the state variable at some time t will be this okay and if this is the initial state variable then the state variable value at some time t is this okay so initial state variable he is changing the initial state variable and looking the state variable at some time t so these two conditions are provided to us now what what he is asking is he is asking about eigen values and eigen vector okay we need to find eigen values and eigen vector which option is correct eigen values regarding eigen values and eigen vector now how to solve this question first of all look at the power here the power is minus 2 here the power is minus 1 it means eigen value must be minus 1 and minus 2 this is a direct trick i told you okay i told you that in in e to the power 80 or maybe xt like this okay so you you have this power exponential power has to be the eigen value okay if you remember i told you this now this wherever you you see exponential term the, the power represent the eigen value so tell me uh, what are those eigen values so eigen value you will get as minus 2 and minus 1 okay so there are two eigen values minus 2 so this may be correct okay minus 2 this may be correct minus 2 minus 1 this may be correct minus this is wrong okay so we have eliminated one option now still we have one option one more option uh, i mean still we have three three options okay out of these three options we have to check which one is correct now 
before solving just wait a minute just wait a minute if you look at carefully look at this carefully what you can see is okay let's now calculate eigenvector how to calculate eigenvector guys how to calculate eigenvector initial state variable is provided to uh, the initial state variable is provided to you and you know the state variable at some time t now how to calculate the eigenvector we know that there is a relation there is a relation between eigenvector and the state variable what is that relation let's say the state equation is like this x dot t is equal to a x t now the solution of this equation is x t is equal to e to the power x a t x of 0 this is the solution guys but the problem is we don't know a matrix if somehow we can calculate a matrix then we can easily calculate eigenvector we can easily calculate eigenvector there is a method there is one more way to represent the solution the solution of this equation is you can apply simple mathematics the solution of this equation is c1 e to the power lambda 1 t v1 plus c2 e to the power lambda 2 t v2 what is v1 and v2 v1 and v2 are the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 and lambda 2 this is the solution of this equation now you may ask sir from where you got this solution okay it's just mathematics i don't want to tell you about this you have to remember it c1 c2 are some constant and you'll get this okay now in the first option it is given that initial state if i put t equal to 0 on both side if i put t equal to 0 on both side now this will be in the first case this will be 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 will be equal to tell me guys c1 into i have put t equal to 0 c1 into v1 c1 into v1 okay c1 into uh, or wait a minute wait a minute okay wait a minute no no no, no. let's 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 wait for i mean let's write this as x1 t x2 t x1 t x2 t is equal to c1 into the first eigenvalue let's say e to the power minus 2 i'm writing e to the power minus 2 into v1 v1 is let's say a b or a1 b1 okay this is my v1 plus c2 now tell me guys c2 e to the power minus the second eigenvalue is minus t okay into v2 v2 is a to b2 a to b2 is it fine guys we need to find this a1 b1 and a2 b2 how to solve this question how to solve this question okay it's simple first we we know that if you put t equal to 0 on both side this value will be tell me what is this value if you put t equal to 0 on both side this value will be 1 minus 2 so 1 minus 2 is equal to c1 into a1 b1 plus c2 into a2 b2 fine a to b2 okay now for the second case for the second case if you look at the second case in second case 1 minus 2 uh, uh, in the second case if x0 is 1 I, I think this should be different let me check the because there is a correction in this question so let me check what is this second value okay okay 1 minus 2 and I think this is wrong please check this value because this is uh, written wrong anyway so if you open this first equation you will get 1 is equal to 1 is equal to c1 a1 plus c2 a2 c1 a1 plus c2 a2 and the second equation is minus 2 is equal to minus 2 is equal to c1 b1 plus c2 b2 okay so you get two equations from here similarly from the next condition from the next condition the next condition is what is the next condition from the next condition i think it should be 1 minus 1 it should be 1 minus 1 okay it should be 1 minus 1 from the next condition it is given that it is given that if i put t equal if i put 0 here so you get 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 that must be equal to tell me both side i have put t equal to 0 so 1 minus 1 is equal to c1a1 c1 a1 plus now remember this time what will happen c1 will be c1 prime okay c1 prime a1 plus c2 prime a2 okay what i have done is i have put these values 1 minus 1 i have put these values as 1 minus 1 okay 
So 1 minus 1 is equal to C1 prime, this I have put 0. So C1A1 plus C2A2 and C1, C2 will change here. C1 prime and C2 prime, okay. And this will be uh, C1 prime B1 plus C2 prime B2. Now, if you look at these two equation, you will not be able to solve C1 and A1, A, uh, you will not be able to solve A1, B1 and A2, B2. It means this method should not be, uh, I mean you, you cannot apply this directly. You have to apply some different approach, okay. Because the problem is you have multiple variable. You can see that there are three, four variables actually. A1, A2, B1, B2, 4 and C1 prime, C2 prime, 6 and then uh, C1, C2, 8 variables are there. You cannot, you cannot solve uh, 8 variables using 4 equations. You have 4 equations, so you will not be able to solve the problem. Now, what you can do is, instead of putting t equal to 0, what you can do is, it's very simple guys, let me, let me erase this. Let me erase this, okay, wait a minute. So, now tell me, what should be the, what should be the direct solution for this? We know that xt is equal to c1 e to the power lambda 1t plus c2 e to the power lambda 2t and here it is multiplied with v1, here it is multiplied with v2, okay. Now, in the first case, in the first case, xt is given as this, okay. So, xt is given as e to the power minus 2t and minus 2 e to the power minus 2t this must be equal to c1 into v1, v1 is a1 v1 e to the power minus 2t plus c2 into v2, v2 is a2 b2 let us say e to the power minus t, fine, fine, tell me guys, in the first case it has to be like this, in the first case. Now, the question is, the question is, eigenvalue we know that, okay. Now the question is how to find this a1 b1, once we get this a1 b1 we can easily, uh, uh, once we get this a1 b1 and for the next condition we can calculate a2 b2. Now how to find this a1 b1, it is very simple guys, what we can do is we can compare, you can see that c1 a1, this, this coefficient is multiplied by e to the power minus 2t, so c1 a1 has to be 1 and c1 b1 has to be minus 2. Is it clear guys? C1 A1 has to be 1 and C2 A2, C1 B1 has to be minus 2 if you compare these coefficient. This has to be 0. It means either these, these coefficient has to be 0 or C2 has to be 0. Okay. For the time being, let us let us assume that this part is not available. So, if you are comparing these two equation, if you are comparing these two equations, from there I can say that this has to be this, this has to be this. Now, from here A1 has to be equal to 1 upon C1 and B1 has to be equal to minus 2 upon c1. So, this is a1 b1. c1 can take any value. c1 can be maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, I do not know. So, now you get the relation between a1 b1, you get the relation between these two elements. Now, in which option this condition is satisfying? Means, this term is minus half of this term, okay. For minus 2 eigenvalue, I am comparing for minus 2 eigenvalue. For minus 2 eigenvalue, the eigenvector, these element has to be uh, uh, they, they have some relation. What is that relation? You can see that b1 is equal to minus 2 a1, okay. b1 has to be minus 2 a1. Now, in which option it is correct? You can see that b1 is equal to, for minus 2 I am writing, b1 is equal to minus 2 a1. For minus 2, here you can see that b1 is equal to a1. So, this cannot be correct, okay. And here you can see that in this option, for minus 2 eigenvalue, you can see that this relation is satisfied. b1 is minus 2 a1. This is B1, it is minus 2 times of this. It means answer is Calcutta, okay. So, it is very simple. I mean, look how much time I have spent on this problem. It is very simple, very easy. If you know this relation, you can directly calculate this. It is easy peasy. We have compared this coefficient, nothing else. Since on this side, only e to the power minus 2t terms is there, that is why I am not looking at this term. I am not looking at these vectors, okay. So, it is very simple, okay. So, you can directly compare and you will get the relation between these two terms, okay. You, you get this relation and now from uh, between A and B, A1 and B1 you get the relation like this and now you go to the options. From option you will get that corresponding to minus 2, B1 has to be minus 2 A1, okay. Now you can see that here the, this is B1, this is A1, it is minus 2 times of this value, okay. That is why. Now, in, in this option, 
this is not true for minus 2 option it is not uh, satisfying the relation here also it is not satisfying the relation the only option is this calcutta where this condition is satisfied i hope you got the idea so you don't need to do any any extra thing the only thing is you you should know what is the solution if a matrix is not known to us if a matrix is not known to us then you can write x t is equal to e to the power a t x of 0 okay and there you can solve the solution uh, solve for the problem but the problem is a is not known to us that's why i'm approaching this way now let's come to the next okay the next is we need to find a matrix how to calculate a matrix how to calculate a for the same question we know that the eigen values eigen values are minus 1 and minus 2 eigen values are minus 1 and minus 2 now which option can be correct we know that the trace of the matrix has to be minus 3 and determinant has to be 2 okay so let's see which option is satisfying here the trace is 1 so this is not correct here the trace is minus 1 this is not correct here the trace is again minus 1 this is not correct in this option only the trace is minus 3 and we, we want the trace to be minus 3 and the determinant of this matrix has to be has to be 2 now look at this the determinant is also not correct wait a minute the determinant has to be 2 and the trace has to be minus 3 now uh, here the trace is 1 here the trace is uh, minus 1 here the trace is minus 1 here the trace is minus 3 that's correct what about the determinant determinant here is 1 it's not 2 it means there must be correction in this option let me check whether uh, the there is a typing mistake or not let me check uh, no i think there is a typing mistake guys i think this a matrix there is a typing mistake okay you can check uh, the options okay guys because we know that the eigen value has to be minus 1 and minus 2 uh, from here we, we know that eigen values are minus 1. so the sum of the eigen value has to be trace and the product of the eigen values has to be determinant it means uh, i think this option must be correct but here it should be 2 either here uh, 2 or here it should be 2 okay you can check okay you can check okay so it's very simple let's come to the next question in the next question you can see that uh, a matrix p is given and we need to find e to the power p now how to calculate let's let's not look at e to the power p let's look look at e to the power pt we want e to the power pt now can you tell me what are the eigen values so the eigen values is we know that one eigen value is minus one and one eigen value is minus two okay because the sum of the eigen value has to be minus three and the product of the eigen values has to be two so directly we can say that the eigen values has to be minus one and minus two it means in the exponential term in the exponential term either it should be e to the power minus t or e to, e to the power minus 2t whenever you calculate this e to the power pt there must be some exponential term in those exponential term the negative power should be there and if you put t equal to 1 here you will get e to the power p if you put t equal to 1 then you will get e to the power p it means these power will become e to the power minus 1 and e to the power minus 2 it means the option in which these powers are there that option may be correct okay so look at this option in this option these power are negative it might be correct it may be correct here you can see that in this option look at this look at this there are same power on on both the terms it cannot be possible because if the same power is there it must be uh, it, uh, it must have combined it okay so it cannot be correct let's come to the other option also here you can see that it's a positive power this is wrong okay so actually there are three options which i which we have taken out now we know that in the first option if i put t here if i put t here it must be an identity matrix if i put t equal to 0 okay if i put t here and if i put t equal to 0 in this e to the power at matrix or e to the power pt matrix, it must be identity now you can see that if i put t equal to 0 it is becoming identity it is not becoming identity it is becoming 2 here okay so this is wrong now come to this if you put t equal to 0 it is becoming minus 1 at t equal to 0 it is becoming minus 1 so this cannot be correct answer is delhi okay so simple it's very simple i mean you should know how to apply these tricks directly how to apply these tricks directly answer is delhi let's come to the next question guys in the next question again you can see that an unforced linear time invariant LTI system is represented. So we have provided, they have provided you the eigen uh, the, the matrix A. We know the eigenvalues. Lambda 1 equal to minus 1 and lambda 2 equal to minus 2 directly. 
we know the eigen values directly now if the initial condition x10 and x20 is provided x10 x20 is provided to us and this value is given as 1 minus 1 these values are given as 1 minus 1 the solution of the state equation now we need to find the solution it means we need to find x1 t and x2 t x1 t and x2 t we need to find okay what is these values we need to find these values so it's very easy in option we know that wherever the x t is given x1 t or x2 t is given if you put t equal to 0 it has to be 1 minus 1 okay in this option if you put t equal to 0 it is becoming minus 1 but it has to be 1 we know that it has to be 1 it is not becoming 1 x1 0 if i put t equal to 0 here it has to be 1 because we know that x1 0 is 1 so this is not satisfying the condition now look at this if you put t equal to 0 here in x1 t if you put t equal to 0 x1 0 is minus 1 it cannot be minus 1 it has to be 1 this is wrong now come to come to this if you put t equal to 0 <coughs> it is become x1 0 is equal to 1 it means it is satisfying this condition now let's come to this it is not satisfying it is becoming minus 1 so this is the only solution which is satisfying the condition okay this is the only condition i mean all the options are eliminated so that's why you don't need to solve the problem now you don't need to solve the problem you just from the options you can you can check okay and directly you will get the answer so answer is calcutta because all the three options are eliminated using this condition okay it's simple easy peasy let's come to the next problem in the next problem what is given is <coughs> there is a state equation right okay and x0 is known as x0 x0 is called as x0 x0 means initial state variable okay so this is x10 and x20 it is given as 0 1 okay it is given as 0 1 now this is my xt the solution of this problem is xt okay these are not uh, 2 by 2 matrix this this is entire one element this is entire second element okay this is x1 t this is x2 t it is provided to us now he is saying okay okay so there are two conditions for 1 minus 1 xt is this okay if x0 is given as this okay so problem is a little bit uh, i mean let, let me change so this is the equation guys if the initial state variable is 1 minus 1 then xt will be this if the initial state variable is 0 1 then the xt is this he is saying that now if the initial state variable is this 3 5 what will be the xt okay so we ha they have provided you the initial state variable if this is the initial state variable xt is this if it is the initial state variable this is the xt now if this is the initial state variable what is xt we need to calculate xt okay now how to calculate xt tell me guys sir uh, in d minus 2 2 is there uh, in d where minus 2 2 is there okay i think there is a typing mistake here it is typing mistake okay I think there is a typing mistake. You should know. Okay, there is a typing mistake. Anyway, let's come back to the original problem. So now, for this initial state variable, this is my xt. For this initial state variable, this is the xt. Now, for this state variable, what is xt? Now, how to check? First, you know, each option, if you put t equal to 0, it has to be 3, 5. In each option, if you put t equal to 0, it has to be 3, 5. Okay. Now let's see. In first option, if you put t equal to 0, you are getting 3 here. And you are not getting 5 here okay so that's why this is wrong now here if you put t equal to 0 you'll you'll get 3 here and uh, you'll get 5 here it might be correct okay now look at this uh, if you put t equal to 0 you'll get minus 2 here and minus 13 here so this is not correct if you put t equal to 0 you'll get 1 here and my so this is not correct so only op option is bombay nothing to worry okay i hope it is clear if you put t equal to 0 in this option this is xt state variable for this condition if the initial state variable is this then the then the state variable xt will be so what i do what i did is in each xt i have put t equal to 0 at t equal to 0 it should be equal to this 3 5 now this is not equal to this value this is not equal to this value at t equal to 0 this is not equal to this value at t equal to 0 only con only option is this bombay it is satisfying the option i get the answer let's say there are two options which are eliminated but still there are two options which satisfy this condition how to solve the problem what we can do is we can see that this 3 5 how to get this 3 5 here in terms of this this uh, this first initial state variable and the next state variable what i can do is i can multiply this 3 with this 
I can multiply this with 3, okay, and I add 8 times of 0, 1. You can see that. Okay, this 3, 5, this, this next state variable, the last state variable, it can be represented as 3 times of this state variable plus 8 times of this state variable. Now, if you know this, that this state variable is this into this and this into this, then it's very easy. What you can do is, due to this initial state variable, the next t times state variable, at some time t, the state variable value will be t times of these uh, corresponding to this initial state variable, the, this is my xt. So, you can put e to the power minus t here and minus e to the power minus t here. Is it clear guys? Okay. So, you can put these value plus 8 times of 8 times of for corresponding to this, what are the state variable? These are the state variable. Okay. So, e to the power minus t minus e to the power minus 2t and here you can write minus e to the power minus t plus 2 e to the power minus 2t. So, it is very simple, okay, and you can solve uh, accordingly. You can solve accordingly, this, this is very easy. This way also you can solve, or you can put t equal to 0 on both sides, and you will get the answer, okay. Let us come to the next problem, guys. The next problem on your screen is, the state variable is provided to you, uh, sorry, the matrix A is provided to you, and we need to find e to the power 8. Now, it is very easy, guys. First of all, t equal to 0. At t equal to 0, it has to be identity. So, at t equal to 0, this is not becoming identity. This is not becoming identity at t equal to 0. This is not becoming identity because at t equal to 0, it has to be 1, 1. Na? At t equal to 0, no one is becoming 1, 1. I think there is a correction again. Okay, wait a minute. I typing mistake. There are so many typing mistakes. Okay, wait a minute, guys. T1010. In the last option, it has to be. 1t, 1t, 0, 1. Okay, it is written like this. This is the D option, guys. Okay, and let me check the other options also. 0, 1, 1, t, that is correct. 1, 0, t, 0, and uh, t, 1, 1, 0. Yes, all the options. Now, tell me, guys. Okay, so please correct the correct this. Okay, correct this. So, actually, in D option, it is written like this. So, it is a type, typing mistake. Now, we need to find e to the power 80 for this matrix. We know that in e to the power 80, if you put t equal to 0, it has to be identity. Now, in this option, it is not becoming identity. In this option, it is not becoming identity at t equal to 0. It is also not becoming identity at t equal to 0. Only option is this. At t equal to 0, it is becoming identity. That is why answer is Delhi. Simple. It is very easy question. Let us come to the next question. The next question on your screen is, x1 dot and x2 dot is provided to you. This is my A matrix. Okay. Now, if you open this equation, you can see that x1 dot is equal to 0. And x2 dot is equal to minus 9 x2t plus 45 ut. Okay, this is the equation. Now, what I need to do is ut denote the unit step value. I need to calculate limit x tends to infinity, the magnitude of this function. The magnitude of this function. Okay, we need to calculate this. What is the magnitude of x1 t square and x2 t square? What is this value? And it is given that the initial state variable is 0, 0. We need to calculate the state variable value at t equal to infinity and take the square of these values and take the root. Now, how to calculate? The first condition is x1 dot t equal to 0. What does it mean? It means x1 t is constant. x1 t is constant. It, it, it is not variable. It, it, it will not vary according to time. It is constant x1 dot t is 0, 0 means it is constant and if we know that x1 0 is 0, x1 0 is 0 and it must remain constant. It means x1 t at all value of t, it will remain constant at t equal to 0. So, we got x1 t. Now, what about x2 t? How to calculate x2? You can calculate x2 t from here. How to calculate? You can use Laplace transform. So, if you use Laplace transform, it will become s xs, s xs minus x2s minus x2 0 plus 9 x2s is equal to 45 by s. You can see like this, like this, okay. And x2 0 is given as 0. x2 0 is given as 0. Now from here, you can see that x2s is equal to 45 divided by s into, tell me guys, what is this value? s plus 9, okay. But we want the final value. We want x2 t limit t tends to infinity, okay, final, so you can apply final value theorem on this, 
you multiply this with s and put s tends to 0 so you will get 5 okay because if you put uh, if you multiply this s this s will be cancelled and if you put s tends to 0 45 by 9 45 by 9 is 5 okay so you'll get this final value as 5 now you can put these values here so you will get the answer as root 25 root 25 is 5 okay so it's easy peasy you can see that so you can see that 11 questions i have solved and uh, i have taken only i don't know 30 minutes or 40 minutes okay but let me tell you guys i have taken these 30 minutes because i was teaching you when i was in exam and if i am solving these question believe me i will take less than 11 minutes okay because these questions are very easy for me because i know the mathematics without knowing concept little bit of concept i have applied i have applied little bit of concept so you can see that without knowing the concept i am solving the problem with the help of options okay and these are your pyqs now you can imagine what is the level of the pyqs okay so it's very simple very easy with the help of options you can solve each and every questions okay so i hope uh, you enjoyed this session guys don't forget to like this session it's important and uh, share this session to your friends also and uh, like this session okay and subscribe our channel there is one more important thing we have our mobile app so install this mobile app and uh, on this mobile app there are also uh, i mean there are so many free lectures which are going on you can also take advantage from this mobile app install it and uh, watch start watching the lectures i am also taking some uh, some sessions on on mobile app also, okay so uh, you can install it and you can enjoy it so tell me guys is there any doubt is there any doubt tell me everyone is there any doubt is there any doubt everyone tell me so i told you how to solve these questions at fast pace okay and how to apply these tricks I have not solved any problem completely. Complete solution is not there. I have not solved, I mean, I have not applied any formula except this problem. Except this problem, I have applied this formula. So you need to remember it, okay? You need to remember it. It's very important, guys. So except this formula, I have not applied any formula anywhere. So that's why uh, I think every problem was easy and you can easily solve these problems. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this session. So that's all for today's session, guys. I'll see you. Tomorrow, we have one more session on state space. I will take other uh, PYQs and uh, try to solve those questions as well. Okay. So that's all for today's session, guys. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.